Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Charles Benson right now at 10 efforts to turn one of the most dangerous areas for pedestrians in Milwaukee into the safest one. It's the latest story we're bringing to you as part of our Project Drive Safer, TMJ4's year-long effort to curb reckless driving. Here's Taylor Lumpkin. Yeah, I mean, I don't Every think... day, Kate Gerlach bikes along East North Avenue to get to work. And every day, he sees just how dangerous it can be for not only bicyclists like himself, but other pedestrians. People have tried to hit me. It's very difficult to get people to yield to you. The same goes for Reese Snyder. She and her husband say they've had their fair share of close calls along North Ave while biking their children to and from school. My husband had a really close encounter with both of our children on the bicycle where somebody was trying to pass on the right and came within a few inches of, of hitting our family. According to officials, East North Ave is listed as one of the top 10 most dangerous areas for pedestrians in Milwaukee. Since 2017, there have been more than a dozen pedestrian crashes along the corridor, at least six of them were fatal. It's extremely dangerous and we have a lot of accidents happening and a lot of people scared to even come down here. And that's why Alderman Jonathan Brostroff, along with other city officials, led a neighborhood walk with residents Wednesday, detailing their plan to make North Ave from Cambridge Avenue all the way down to Ivanhoe Place safer. We have the opportunity for a once in a generation transformation to go from one of the worst experiences for pedestrians to one of the best in the city. Safety improvements include creating a pedestrian only plaza along East Ivanhoe, extending curbs and installing dividers to create protected bike lanes. Having that protection is so, so helpful because paint is not protection. All those things conversely also help uh, slow traffic down. City officials add that they hope to see construction begin on their pedestrian safety plan within the next year. Reporting in Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.